How about uh, seed savers and, and open source seeds or some things? Seed savers are not, are not new, uh, but open source seeds, et cetera, to try to get at a more diverse, uh, I guess, ownership base of, of seeds. Andrew Campbell, you have some thoughts on that? Yeah, actually, one of the things that we're doing, which is very exciting right now, is uh, we're developing a, a, a program to unite the seed savers internationally. There's so many people now that see the loss of diversity. We've lost 90% of our fruit and vegetable diversity just in my lifetime. So, but there are seed savers out there that are preserving that, that are preserving that diversity, but they don't have a way to talk to each other and exchange seeds because there are certain laws and certain things. So we're developing an international seed savers exchange, uh, the first ever, and I'm very excited about that program because it'll let people to talk to each other, know best practices, exchange seeds, you know, across the world. So I, that's absolutely critical. And it's critical for us here in the United States because, you know, we have food insecurity here in the United States, even though we're a net export food nation. And here we have 53% of all of our cropland devoted to corn and soy. And, and I wish that was the worst news, most of that being genetically engineered and being pushed by the companies, of course. But I wish that was the worst news. That, that's, that's not the worst news about it. The worst news is about 90% of that corn and soy is going into to cars and to cattle and into animal factories. And then another percentage is going into high fructose corn syrup and soy lecithin. And so only a tiny percentage is actually sweet corn and anything that anybody eats. So if we're talking about hunger, what a terrible model we're setting here in the United States where over half of our agricultural land is used for these two monocultured crops, genetically engineered, sprayed with these herbicides, and they're not even being fed to people. They're being fed to cars and to cattle. That is not a model to feed the earth. That is not a model that's going to do anything about climate change.